have a voice if you want to join. As a health coach, I wanted to talk to you about building relationships with the loved ones. Today, incidentally, is a Jewish Valentine's Day, so I wanted to talk to you about love. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me, right? The song comes to mind, but um, if you remember in the play of Fiddler on the Roof, husband Tevye is asking his wife, do you love me, Golde? And she's perplexed after 25 years of uh, living together, she doesn't really know. What is love? And does she really love him? I think by the end of the song, they did conclude that they do love each other. So what is love? And hopefully each one of us experienced this wonderful feeling at least once in life. But um, each one of us can also nurture this um, fantastic feeling. And how can we do that? There is actually a book and I'm thankful and grateful to Rebitson Devorah Kegel who introduced me to this book. It's a book that's called Five Love Languages probably um, and this was written by Gary Chap Chapman he's a renowned uh, psychologist um, and he has very powerful advice in his book the book on Amazon I think cost about ten dollars but uh, the book is phenomenal very small very short reading and very powerful um, I hope that my husband benefited from me reading that book. So uh, love languages, there are uh, actually five love languages. Um, some people prefer to receive gifts. Some people prefer to have quality time, uh, words of affirmation, acts of service or physical touch. And it's important to know what's your dominant love language. There is actually a quiz on the website five love languages and you can take a test and find out what is your dominant language for me um which came as a surprise to be honest but the words of affirmation came out to be a dominant language so i guess i'm looking forward to people telling me good things and um some example could be i love being in love with you or thank you for looking after me this is how you can endear your partner to, to yourself. For some people, it's physical touch, right? People want to be cuddled, people want to be hugged. Um, and it's important to cater to the needs of your partner or spouse or child. There is actually a test for children as well, for singles, for married couples, etc. So uh, it's important to understand who you are uh, it's a path of self-discovery, but also what does your partner like? If let's say you think that gifts is the primary love language for you, it doesn't have to be the same language for your partner. The next one is acts of service. Some of us, and probably many, like to be uh, served or maybe somebody can make you a nice dinner or clean, clean or take you and drive you somewhere etc. There are many things that you can do for a partner, taking um, care of them, massaging them, etc. could be a very powerful love inducer and maintainer of that relationship. And again, as a health coach, one of the areas after we focus on the body, right, like healthy body, then we actually focus on healthy mind. Having healthy relationships and nurtured relationships help us to thrive as individuals. Um, the next one is quality time. Some people have to have undivided attention and long talks and walks and maybe you can go to a museum together with your partner or to a restaurant where you can really spend time with each other and um, listen to each other. And then uh, I think we covered everything. So receiving gifts, quality time, words of affirmation, acts of service and physical touch are five love languages and it's important to know what your language is and what your partner's language is and cater to each other, speak each other's language because we are all different, we have all different needs and sometimes we don't even know what the love is. So um, thanks for listening to me and have a fantastic Friday and today again is a Jewish Valentine's Day so I hope you all have a loving nurturing relationships with people around you and may you all uh, find the right partners and uh, have patience with each other and try
to implement the skills learned from this book and I hope you will get better and better at what you do with your partners. Thank you.